You're watching the Highlight Zone with Wayne 15 Sports Director Glenn Marini. Local sports coverage you can count on. I mean, it's just going to take the perfect effort coming out each and every play. We love being the underdogs. I mean, that just fuels our fire. These guys have grown up. It's every person's dream to make it to that game. Take advantage of all the opportunities we get. Um, you know, if a play is called, then we got to execute it every single time. Don't let the bigness of it uh, get to you. Go out there and play. Do what we've done all year long and, and let that take care of itself. There's no bad football being played, so all we got to do is execute our assignment play 111 football, be all in, and get after it. And then there were two. Yeah, we started out the postseason here in the state of Indiana with 43 local teams, but heading into tonight, only Adams Central and Eastside remaining. Both the Jets and Blazers just a win away from a trip to Lucas Oil Stadium. And we start up in Butler as Colton Howard joins us now with your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Colton. Yeah, last week at Eastside, Todd Mason's team blazing a trail. Eastside winning its first ever regional title by taking down top ranked East Brook, the green and gold, looking to make it to state for the first time ever, but standing in the way of perennial powerhouse in the name of the Andrean Fighting 59ers. Andrean at Eastside, it's your highlight zone. Game of the week. Blazers undefeated at 13 0. Eastside ranked fourth in the state in 2A. Andrean ranked eighth, coming in at 10 and 3. In the first Quarter on the second drive of the ball game, Blazers defense holding the 59ers to just a field goal. Andrean taking that 3-0 lead to the end of the first quarter. Second quarter action on a fourth and one from the four-yard line. Laban Davis is met by a plethora of white jerseys, and he stops short of the first down markers. Blazers turning the ball over and momentum shifting the other way. Now, with under four minutes to go till halftime, Scott Ballantyne thinking deep ball, and he's got Robbie Ballantyne down the field, not missing a beat. Andrean finding the end zone first, and the Blazers head into the break down by 10. Now, out of halftime, the 59ers picking up where they left off. Scott Ballantyne using those legs, and the quarterback takes it in as Andrean ends the third with a 17 point lead. Fourth quarter, though, not so fast. Eastside causing a fumble, and Carson Jacobs snagging this ball off the ground, and he gone. Jacobs with the 31-yard scoop and score, and that big play brings the score to 17 to 7. Now later in the fourth, Eastside down but not out. Laban Davis to Kyler Bibby from eight yards away, and Bibby brings this to just a three-point ball game, 17 to 14, with 5:13 left to play. But on a fourth and six, as time winds down east side out of timeouts andrean getting the yards they need and the time just winds out and andrean taking the semi-state win in butler with a final score of 17 to 14. well defensively we've done enough to win the game we just didn't do enough offensively um and uh you know my hat's off to andrean they played a well of a football game and uh they got us a little uncomfortable in the first half and and you know what can you say? I've got a, a great group of kids that uh, my heart is broken for, but uh, you can't take anything away from what they've done. Um, historical season, um, and I love them to death. They're fighters, uh, and, and they're great human beings on top of it. And I'm, like I said, I'm just saddened that uh, we couldn't, couldn't make this happen tonight. Eastside finishes the best season in school history with a record of 13-1. and 